Ladies and gentlemen, today we have something very special for you. It's a 2005 Mercedes-Benz S600 V12. This was the flagship for Mercedes-Benz, the absolute top tier car adjacent to the AMG division. Although this was actually faster than the S63 AMG. It is the last of the W220 series and probably one of the best kept S600s in Australia. There was only very few brought into the country. And it's important to consider that this is also an Australian delivered car. Sold new at Marshalls. The Zircon silver paint is flawless. Take you around the whole car, just so you can get an appreciation of this vehicle. And then I'll tell you about some of the aspects that set this apart from the regular S-Classes. First thing to note is the special limited edition wheels. The six slot, almost jelly bean style alloys. They were specific to the S600. It's wearing very nice continental tires. And the tire size is, let me just find it for you, 245, 45ZR18s, so they are 18 inch wheels. In the back, being a long wheelbase, it's nothing but luxury. We've got lumbar support for the rear passengers as well as electric adjustment and heated seats as well. So, as you can see, fully adjustable. And that's a very special feature that was an option on all the S-Classes and standard only on this model, the S600. Of course, the rear passengers also have air conditioning, entertainment, and a whole lot of legroom. This leather is so soft and supple, I, re I really believe that not many people have sat here, if anyone. Opening up the boot, it's cavernous as you would expect from a top of the line car. Spare wheel and all your tools are uncompromised, so we have even spare fuses. Everything's in order here, jack's never been used. Original warning triangle as well. And they even give me this nice little handle so I don't grubby the paint and that will disappear momentarily. Got this sort of ingrained lip spoiler as well. Ah, oh, there it goes. Just have a look at all the speakers in the back here as well. The glare's a bit reflective, so I'll show you from here. The sound system in this car is unbelievable. It is Bose. Bose first debuted in the W140 series S-Class back in 1992. Stepping into the driver's seat, the seats are otherworldly comfortable. And everything is swathed in leather. The dash is nicely stitched with it. We've got the updated nav, of course. Wood grain steering wheel. And of course, 91,841 original kilometers, which is nothing for a V12, it's barely run in. I'll fire it up. Put the windows up, it's whisper quiet in here. Give it a bit of a rev for you. It sounds stunning. Over here, my backside's a little bit warm on this hot summer's day in Sydney, so I'm gonna turn on my ventilated seats. They are three stage. Should the weather be the reverse, you've also got heated seats. Dual zone climate control, of course. Adjustable on each side. You've even got little charcoal filterants. That wonderful Mercedes-Benz touch shift automatic with comfort and sports settings. 
The wheel is tilt and reach electronically adjustable with this little tab here. So you can find, it's impossible not to find a comfortable seating position in this car. Headrests are currently up. They're hindering my vision. I think I'd like them down. Simply press a little button and down they go. If the sun is bothering your rear occupants, well, that should stop the complaints. Another little feature of the S600 is the Alcantara headlining and roof carpeting. It was specific only to the S600, as well with these walnut damped grab handles. <clears throat> Speed limiter up here on your cruise control stalk. You can raise the car as well by pressing this little button if you need to clear any obstacles wonderful place to sit, spared no expense, and basically this car was the fundamentals for the Maybach 57 and 62S. Same running gear, same transmissions, just a slightly different interior, same body shape. You could almost say this was a poor man's Maybach, or a rich man's Mercedes. Top of the line, also have massage features down here. Storage space as well. This car is very rare, very expensive when new, well up towards $500,000. Only the well-heeled could afford them, and that's usually a good indicator that the car's been maintained. This example has been, it's got great service history. Take you into the passenger side now. Even the chrome scuff plates don't even have a mark on them. They're just beautiful. Same amenities afforded to the front passenger. Leather stitched glove box. All the nav discs and phone to do. And the stitching continues through up here. Really makes the cabin a very special place to sit. In here we've got our cup holders and our phone stuff. Deep glove box. Cup holder. Storage. Ashtray and 12 volt power outlet or cigarette lighter. The car of course is a non-smoker, as you can see, never been used. And with K's like this, it certainly wasn't in higher car service. See the HID projector headlights there and the front parking sensors. I'm going to pop the bonnet for you now. A very nice, discreet little V12 logo there. Everything about this car screams subdued elegance. There's nothing show offy or in your face about it. It's discreet. It looks expensive, but it's not garish or ostentatious. latch which doesn't seem to be catching at the moment I'll have to have our full-time mechanic have a little look at that I must be doing it incorrectly forgive my ignorance ladies and gentlemen it is mint under there we had it up yesterday for the photo shoot rear parking sensors as well of course Very nice tinting, not too dark. Not a mark on this car. For nearly 100,000 Ks, it's in superb condition. If you're after a very special vehicle, if you're a collector, or you just want to drive the best Mercedes-Benz had to offer, this is it, bar none. 
even 10 years later, it's still best, most everything on the road in terms of quality, refinement, engineering, and performance. If you're interested, www.old.com.au for all our contact details. And you can ask to speak to Richard Simons, Philip Tarrant, and they'd be more than happy to answer any questions you might have.